Abandon ship! Abandon Ab ship! Abandon! No! Oh. Oh. Thank you, bro. No worries, man. All right. Come on up, Eric. Hello, guys, and welcome back to TSM Adventure. Welcome back. Today it's me, Adam. Emma. Robin. Eric. Yeah, and we just uh, capsized our boat. Okay, Emma, what do you got? I actually brought a tarp uh, to keep us <laughs> dry from the rain, ironically. I got a metal container to uh, boil our water. <laughs> Fucking good. And I brought the fishing line. Yeah, and you also got two hooks, and that's perfect. I got my knife. We need to get dry before the night and the darkness comes. Let's go up in the, in the forest. Yay! Yay! Let's do this. Right here, guys. Found, found a spot. And this looks nice. Yeah. So this will be the spot for a shelter. We're gonna have a lean-to shelter right here. We're gonna sleep with the heads here and the foot down there. But first, we're gonna start with the fire. Uh, we also have a really good natural reflector we will, which we will use. But first, change our clothes, then start the fire. Let's do this. In this video, we will build a shelter using a tarp and dead materials, and then keep warm by the fire pit. Collect, cook and eat what the forest has to offer, and at this time of year there's plenty to go around. We will show you how to build your own smoke signal and light it with a homemade torch. We will also show you how to make soap, a toothbrush and toothpaste from ingredients found in the nature. So join us and we will enjoy the Swedish wilderness together. For a good time, I feel alive in the world. Hold on. <laughs> oh no, my gear got all wet. Yeah, same here. Well, we have the raincoats and stuff, and they will dry easy. So let's take them. Okay, so the reason we're taking off a wet clothes is because water actually cools the body down 80% more than air. So we need to get all the wet stuff away from our bodies and see if we do have some dry gear in our backpacks and then we're gonna use that with our raincoats on us because the raincoats will dry out fast and they, they will help us get some heat. These are not the best ones. No. I think these are my mom's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's not good, but we're gonna have our wet socks and our wet uh, shoes right now because we can't run in the forest around with no shoes because then we're gonna hurt ourselves and that's not good at all. So, yeah, we're gonna live with, with a bit of wetness on our bodies. Okay, good. We're well, all set with the new gear. Uh, start yeah, squeezing out the water of your coat and then hang them up in a tree. Okay, so the gear I brought today is what you see on me now and in this tree. 
I have the gloves soaking wet, but I have to use them now when we are out gathering supplies for a fire. Uh, I have this shirt, uh, t-shirt, pants, underpants, a soaking wet hat. And the only thing that's almost dry is this. And this I will dry out totally. And then this will be the thing I will sleep in tonight. Uh, in this pocket here I have some uh, medical supplies. Uh, and some security things. Yeah, so this is basically the same setup as everyone else. Uh, some have uh, more dry gear than others, but not more than this gear here. So that's awesome. Great. So we're all, all set. We have uh, the driest clothes we have at least. I'm you, good. Yeah, that's awesome. Robin, you good? I'm good. Nice. The next thing now is to start the fire. <laughs> Eric already started with the fire pit. Robin, Emma. You're gonna go <laughs> the other way around. Robin, Robin Emma, Emma fiance. out in the woods, search for firewood. I'm gonna help Eric. We're gonna dig a fire pit and we're gonna fill it with stones so we don't uh, get any root fires and stuff. Let's do this. You, you're off. Let's do this. Yeah, we found, we will find a lot of earthworms now. These we will use, use both for fishing and also for eating. They are very high in protein. About 80% of this little, little bastard are protein. So they are really nutritious. Perfect in soups and stuff. You can eat them as they are, but it tastes really bad. But I'm actually gonna try, give it a shot. Uh, my first date with Emma, I actually ate a worm. <laughs> so yeah, she knew what she get, got herself into. But yeah, they're not awesome, but it works. They keep moving inside of your mouth. Yep, eating earthworm. It works. It's a lot of protein, but you should really boil them first. Dum dum dum. Dum. <laughs> Worst <the> fuck? <laughs> okay. Out of picture. So, we have this awesome fire pit now. We don't have to build a reflector because the reflector is already here. Nice. And we also gathered some firewood. And we have some more under that green thing. So, the next step now, start a fire, collect some more firewood, then start building our shelter. Damn right. Yeah. All right. All right. Nice. Let's do it. Let's start. So, as the base we have these logs, which will start to burn after a while actually, believe it or not. There we Whoa. have, wow, Nice. first try. Wow. Noise. 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 Fire. Fire pro. Okay, so my task now is to keep the fire going and to build some kind of uh, line we can uh, dry our uh, gear at. While I do this, uh, Emma, Robin and Eric uh, is out in the woods gathering firewood and uh, wood for the shelter, like uh, bigger logs, etc. Uh, to get the frame going on the shelter and then, yeah, improve it from that. So that's, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. I was out to find firewood, but instead I found mushrooms. Mm -mm -mm. So many. They are just everywhere. Delicious little mushies.
This is perfect height. Oh. Nice. And the two from the side. Want to push it in like this. Okay, so we started with the first layer on, our, on the roof of our shelter. We're gonna gather some more spruce branches and uh, then that's it. Over the spruce branches later we're gonna have the tarp. And over the tarp we're gonna have some moss. This, the tarp, yes, it is rainproof, but this will give us layers in the roof. And between the layers we can uh, heat up the air. So, just as we usually do with the lying bench, we're now doing with the roof to get some layers and to get a thick roof and walls so the coldness don't get in as easy so that's the plan with this awesome, just a couple of more then the tarp, then moss awesome Making a small branch just to just push in the holes here. Just like keeping it down. The old TT method. actually managed to fix the boat uh, we we did some uh, mechanics and stuff <laughs> <laughs> mechanics and uh, now it can hold one person so we're actually gonna take this uh, opportunity to send Eric away and uh, he will try to get some help to save us but it's a long journey back home yes and we don't know when and uh, yeah yeah, when Eric and the help is coming back. So, yeah, that's the plan right now. I'm gonna send you away. Yeah. Hello. Rescue mission? Rescue mission. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not a banishment then? No. It might be a little bit both. <laughs> Voted off the island. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, but... You draw the I short think stick. I'm up for it. Yeah. Bye-bye. Good luck. Please survive. So we have uh, these big beams right here. Uh, that way. Uh, because when we build up the floor now, we will have uh, some space here. And that way, some of the heat will go in under the bed, bench, lying bench. That's the plan at least. And uh, then we're just building the wooden floor. And on that later, we're gonna have as much spruce branch as, as possible. This is also, yeah, this is actually super cozy. It actually looks it. Oh, yeah. So what's for supper? And you want some supper? No, no, I was wondering. Yeah, we can have some supper. Yeah. Mushrooms? And, uh, a little bit of everything, I feel. We have food, as you see, the mushrooms, some roots, and some berries. And uh, yeah, the the shelter is it's done for today. Okay, guys, you're off to bed. Yeah. Yep. 
I take the first shift watching the fire. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. And it's raining now. Yeah, it's raining. It's dry in here. Yeah, it's very Good night, dry. Guys. Good night. Bye. Bye. How are you, Robin? I'm good. How are you, my friend? I'm fine. Night has been really good. I've been a bit cold this morning, but other than that, I slept really well. Uh, all the gear, even this, is dry. So we did a good job yesterday and this night to just yeah dry everything. That's perfect. And the fire kept us warm all night. Yeah, it is. It really did. Where you go? Where? 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 You drunk, man? Where are you going? I am going to the lake. It's probably 10 degrees, but uh, you know, yeah. that's life up in the north. <laughs> you gotta stay clean. Yeah, you have a good time, Robin. Yeah. Well, you gotta have a good time. Yeah. A little morning swim, you know? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. That makes life good. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. See you. Me and Robin are now going out to make our daily food run. Emma will be here, she will cook us some water and actually co collect some roots and stuff. Take care of the camp while we go and search for food. And we don't have to go very far today. No, because these guys are grown everywhere. Yeah. Um, trumpet chantarel. It's very nice. Nice. Very tasty. Especially in a morning soup <laughs> and hazel nut tree or just hazel tree <laughs> no nuts no nuts in the hazel nuts tree <laughs> no. but we found a lot of dandelion lion a lot of burning nettles and yeah these these are the buggers yeah they're good yeah full of uh, vitamins yes and good tasting. And you can eat these all year, even when they are black. But uh, yeah, they give more nutrition now. Perfect. Let's head out that direction. Oh, there's it. Uh, look. That's an even bigger one. Nice. Let's go there. Let's go. While the guys are gone, I've decided to uh, clear up the camp a bit and uh, collect the firewood that they've got so far. Uh, I'm boiling some water so they get some water when they get back. I've also collected some berries. This is some uh, pine needles for the water, uh, some blueberries, which are awesome, and some lingonberries as well. I'm not a huge fan, but they're very popular <laughs> here in Sweden. You get lingonberry jam, for instance good with meat. Um, the water is just about boiling so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put pine needles into the water and I'm going to put a couple of blueberries in there as well for some extra flavor. It'll be a nice blueberry and pine needle tea when they get back. It's really good. Well like you see there are berries, mushrooms and roots and there's so much food at this time of year here in Sweden so it's uh, it's good. I don't think we'll go hungry. I've had a really good night's sleep here been warm, comfortable, great having the fire. Yeah, it's been a good night. Hopefully it will continue that way. We are back from the food run. Morning harvest. Yeah, we actually managed to get a couple of things. Come closer please. We have these, which is uh, 
white man's uh, foot or white man's track. Uh, they're kind of good to everything, but especially if you have diarrhea, if you have fever or something like that. And they are rich in C vitamin. Here we have the burning nettles, uh, which are really good to eat, both in nutritious and they taste good. We have, uh, yeah, like trumpet yeah. chanterelles. Yeah, trumpet. Yeah. Uh, we have normal chanterelles. And we have these big, big pike mushrooms or Hedge, hedgehog. hedgehog mushroom. And yesterday we made a barbie with these. Yeah, I was really, really tasty. Yeah. Uh, we have a couple of pine uh, needles and uh, spruce needles for seasoning. We have a lot of uh, dandelion and dandelion roots, loads of them. We have some of these uh, clovers. clovers. Exactly. Uh, we also have a lot of uh, licorice roots and a lot of uh, different berries. Lingonberries, blueberries, uh, something I can't say in English. <laughs> so yeah, it was a really good catch and we're gonna have something to eat now. Great. Love those. Mmm. Mmm. Good grilled. Yep, please. Thank you. Mm. Very nice. And a lot of food. I actually think we will be pretty full after this. Not all the way, but uh, yeah, let's hope for some fish or something later, right? Well, we'll, we'll be pretty too. Yeah. Definitely look how pretty I am. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Yum, 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 yum. Hi Adam, what are you doing? I'm uh, big building a smoke signal to signal for help if needed or when we hear a plane or a boat or something like that. Uh, so what I've done so far is uh, I've built myself a tripod and we're gonna fill this with birch bark, uh, small uh, and dry spruce branches and green spruce branches. Uh, birch bark and the uh, dry ones is for uh, the flame to catch and the green ones will make it smoke very very much so that's what I'm doing and uh, yeah next step to this to start and I put some birch bark in between the dry branches and I will start putting them on this tripod. Uh -huh, like a bird nest. Yes. Cute. Yeah. So this is what I'm gonna do. See you when we put up the spruce branches. Okay then. The bird's nest and the tripod is done. So in between here we have birch bark which will make it burn better and faster. Now we're going to the green stuff. And we have spruce branches here. Uh, they work the best, but any green thing like uh, birch uh, and stuff will burn and give out smoke. So if you don't have any spruce, you can go with another green material. Then uh, the next step, step here is to keep piling up the spruce branches and then go back to camp and there we're gonna build a torch so we can put the torch in the fire and run with the torch all the way here to ignite 
and uh, yeah, get the smoke signal going. Okay, so back at the camp, we started to make the torch. Uh, what I done is actually just, uh, yeah, cut a, a you stick. You like split this. it. Yeah, split it in the middle. And uh, then just I put a, a branch right here just to yeah keep it out. And I did it this with my knife and as another log I just hammered down. So in this torch we're gonna have birch bark and uh, spruce branches, the dry ones. Something like this. Voila. And uh, if I hear a plane or a boat or something I want uh, uh, attention from, uh, I will lit this here on the campfire and then run with it to my smoke signal and ignite the smoke signal. Uh, to remember is don't have the smoke signal too long from your fire and your shelter because this don't burn. Uh, for too long, but you will make it about 50 to 100 meters, I'd say, at least 50 meters. So yeah, uh, I don't want to run through the forest with a burning flame right now, uh, so I will go down, ignite this torch down by the smoke signal and then ignite it like that. Because I'm not in a real survival situation right now and I don't want to burn down the forest. And as you see it works quite good. It would work better if the wind was to the other side of the lake or if the wind wasn't at all. Then it would be a high high smoke pillar and that smoke pillar can be seen from like two kilometers or more from where you are. It's a really good si signaling device. I'm gonna let it burn for a little bit more, then we have to put it out, so we don't <laughs> call for help for real. Yeah. Hello Emma. Hi. How's it going? Good. Awesome. Um, improving our ground insulation. Yeah. Yeah. The lying bench. Exactly. Awesome. So I've got lots of new uh, spruce branches and what I'm doing is I'm sticking them down into the ground to create a, like an arch of the spruce branch which uh, creates an air cushion to lie on which should hopefully heat us up nicely. Sounds nice. And uh, yeah, we're sp spending some time on improvements on the shelter, as we said. And we also collected some firewood. 
Uh, we might collect some more to last us to the morning and yeah, a bit more. Tonight I'm gonna have myself for a good time. I feel alive and the world. Hold on. <laughs> Great, right now we're fishing. Uh, only some nibbles so far, but uh, yeah, there are fish here. Uh, yeah, so this is the last thing we're doing. Hopefully, we get some fish, otherwise, we'll come back tomorrow. Uh, and do some more fishing. Hi guys. Back in camp. Checking the fire. Adam is down, still down, uh, doing some fishing. Hasn't gone very good so far, but uh, he will manage. I'm sure of that. And um, time is like uh, 9.30, something. And it's really dark. The fire is hot and uh, the camp is cozy, so everything is good. So everything is good. Great. Hello, guys. Yo. I'm back from my fishing trip. Yay. I did not get anything though. Back. <laughs> yeah. Okay then, Robin. I'm heading off for bed. Yeah. It's enough for me today. Yeah. Yeah, very tired. Have I had a good day? Yeah. I'll be shortly off to you. Yeah. Say oh. night. Good night, guys. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Peace. Awesome night been? Very good. Oh, awesome. Good morning. Morning. Well, it's uh, about 8.30 in the morning now. And I've slept for probably seven hours. Including a three hour fire shift. Uh, it's been a really good night. I've been really warm and cozy. The logs are still burning away. Yeah, day three. What? Uh, we're out on our daily run for food, and uh, the first thing we're gonna pick today is this. And uh, yeah, in Sweden we call it Hunter's Crisp. Uh, <laughs> and there, uh, there are stories about people who survived on, uh, yeah, on islands and lived for this, only this as food for 30 days. So we're gonna pick this and we're gonna have it. We're gonna dry it by the fire so we get the, these crispy chips or crisps. And yeah, then we're gonna eat them. Cool. Nice. Looking forward to this. Yes. Or at least you eat it. <laughs> nice. There is. Awesome. These are these are good to make tea out of. Yeah, they are. And also uh, jam. Yes. To eat with your meatballs and potatoes. They are. Let's bag them. Oh, 
also. And chanterelles. The golden fruit of the woods. Yes. Perfect in a soup. Oh, what's up? Well, found a small, uh, a quite big crawfish. Crawfish? Oh yeah, look at that. Let's see if I can come in closer without falling in the water. Is it visual? Let's see if you can catch it. He's lurking in his underwater lair. Uh -oh. Oi. <laughs> nice. Got it. Got him. Got him. Oh. He's saying, you bastard. Ow. Quite big claws, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh. That was a big motherfucker. Oh. Hold him on his back. Right. Here you should be able to hold him. Yeah. Look at that. Crazy. This is some protein. That is a lot of protein. Yeah. We need to bag him. <laughs> we don't lose a finger. <laughs> awesome. <Yeah. laughs> I'm a bit wet, but we have food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a dive, man. Jesus, look at that. How beautiful. Can we put him in your bag? You like that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. As usual, really good. Let's go back, head back to the camp and Emma. All right. We have some roots. We have one crawfish and uh, mushrooms. Yeah, some mushrooms and stuff. So we have a good enough breakfast at least. And uh, yeah, later tonight we'll probably do the same. Another food run. But for now, we're set. Yay. Hi, so I'm gonna have a wander around our camp and show you our shelter that we built and what it looks like. So this is it from the outside. You can see it's all supported, the sides here with these stocks and the same goes all the way up the top and across the way. And then uh, we've weaved through spruce branch branches and then uh, put moss on top for insulation. Also, we've got the tarp in the middle here between the spruce branches and the moss. So this is what it looks like all the way around. And this is where we go in. As you can see, we've collected firewood. Big chunks of it there. Drying off some clothes. These beams that we basically just put from the rock face there and over to the shelter. And here's inside the shelter to the right here because we have plenty of space. We've got some smaller firewood. And as you can see there, you can see all the spruce branches um, weaved in and out the beams across the roof. And then under here we have the lying bed. See these big stocks that have sort of pushed down into the ground along the bottom and then these thinner ones that are all the way down to the back. On top of that a bed of uh, spruce branches and it's been really really warm. Getting up from the ground here is important uh, both to, to get away from the cold of the ground and to create um, 
air in between so that the heat from the fire can seep in under and warm us up from underneath. So this is the fire and our fire pit here is quite long. The idea is at night uh, we have it burning from that end all the way to that end so that we get an even transfer of heat into the bed, into the shelter. We've got some freshly boiled water that's just standing there cooling off a bit so we can drink it. Yeah. So that's our shelter. This is where we've been living for the past three days and uh, well, we'll see how long we're staying. But it's pretty cozy. Way. This one is gonna be food. So we had some roots and some leaves and stuff but uh, as breakfast we're gonna have this crawfish and uh, yeah some mushrooms some chanterelles it's gonna be our luxury breakfast today also now we just need to take this little fellow's life crayfish crayfish Great, so this is my lunch. I have some mushrooms, some leaves, some roasted roots. Uh, these are also roasted, some berries and this crayfish. Uh, I'm the only one who eats meat here, so I will have this awesome breakfast crayfish. And uh, uh, Robin and Emma will have some more of the green stuff. But yeah, this is breakfast. Let's enjoy it. Great job, man. It was a spectacular morning, I would say. Yes. I will start with this one. The slime you can just throw out. Here we go. Some crayfish. Yeah, that was good. Very good combination. Some more of this. Good breakfast. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, drying some of our gear. And soon we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna take a... Foresty shower. Foresty shower? Yes. It's a nice way of putting it. The primitive anyway. Yeah, the primitive hygiene. way. Day three now, so hygiene is important. If you want to stay alive for a long time. Yeah. Avoid uh, diseases and sickness and whatnot. That's nice. Right. All right. So we're making soap. So here I have a plastic bag filled at the bottom with some water and some fresh birch leaves. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to going to crush these to get the juices out and drop them into the water. How much do you crush them? Show me. Try and uh, crush them as much as possible. Mush them. Sort of about the same amount as you would mint leaves in a mojito. Uh-huh. Oh, that's a good trick. Oh, there you go. There we go. And the last ingredient, which is... Ash. Ash, ash exactly. White ash. From... Like that. Anything specific or...? Oh, the white uh, ash from the fire. Any white ash from the fire. Mm -hmm. Should do it. 
Yeah, no, it really looks like a mojito. It does actually. I wouldn't drink it though. And as you see, we got ourselves our soap. Awesome. Awesome. Let's wash. Okay, so uh, for our wash, we're going to have, or we have, some warm water. We have some of our soap. So let's start. All right, I'm gonna pass the water. Here you pour the water down on your hands. Hmm? Pour, take that and pour to your hands. Awesome. Clean. Great. So we just uh, washed ourselves. Uh, five point wash. Start with your hands, face, arm armpits, groin, feet, and then all, all, also finish your hands because they will be dirty. Awesome. Now next step, we're gonna brush brush our teeth, and for this we need. Uh, a birch branch alive and then we're gonna make ourselves a toothpick or rather a toothbrush which we have done now so this will be our toothbrush <laughs> slippery thank you You're welcome and for toothpaste, we will have tree coal. Right. And you just what, like mix that with some water, or I know where I just crushed this. Yeah, take some saliva. Mix it with saliva. Yep. And now we can both. Take off hands and brush your teeth with them. This really works? Yeah. Feels a bit odd. <laughs> it looks odd too. Yeah. <laughs> and now with the toothbrush, we we'll take some coal on that one and Oh, it actually works quite well. Oh, it's good. So yeah, I prefer coal and this is my toothbrush. As you see, I need to go down to the water <laughs> and brush, brush all this blackness off. Well, now we're feeling all hygienic and stuff. <laughs> so uh, we filled up the water and let's go back to camp. Yeah, let's go. Let's roll. Like a new person. Yes. What's going on, Robin? Keeping my feet dry. Roger that. And what have you been doing? I've been uh, out on the lake with you. Yeah. Catching some fishes. Awesome. Except that we didn't catch any fishes. That sucked. But uh, the day's not over yet, and uh, the fishing rod is still in the water. Yeah. So we're gonna go check a bit later. Just gonna dry our stuff first because uh, it looks good, like it's gonna rain soon, so it's better to get dry, get that all down for the evening, and uh, yeah, then we go and check if we got any fishes. Yeah, and Emma, what you been doing? I've been uh, gathering firewood, uh, boiling water, clearing up, drying your clothes, 
Yeah, taking some pictures. Awesome. Oh. So now we will dry the clothes we have on. Yep. And uh, wait in the rain. And until then, just relax by I this think it started. cozy fire. Sounds awesome. Yeah, it started already. Yeah, the rain is coming. I need to get out of these shoes. Oh, sorry, can I just get this? Did you fart on my jacket? I accidentally <laughs> did. <laughs> Yep. I sat on my jacket and farted on it. I know you did it on purpose. Well, I think my butt just felt there was something very comfy and then just did it. <laughs> and you have that big jacket on you. Can you show it for the camera? Uh, sure. That was a good item to bring with you. Um, <coughs> this is a big, thick winter army jacket. Yeah. It doubles up as a duvet. Especially if you're small like me. So Emma is the only one who didn't freeze anything at all. She's been warm the whole trip without a sleeping bag or anything. But now it's uh, good night time. Yeah, good, good night, sleep tight. I will wake you up in about three hours for your, for your shift. For my shift. Yeah. And I'll wake you both up in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, So will, So will Mother Nature. Yes. Night night. Nighty nighty. Morning guys. Morning. Morning. How's the night been? Cold. That's a good word. Yeah. Mm. Much colder tonight. Yeah. Clear skies. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that's been good. Yeah. Had some hours sleep. How cold was it tonight? Oh, probably down to about five. No. Yeah, not more than five. Yeah. Hello. Yo. We. Time to. Uh, go. Go, yeah. It's time to go. Awesome. We found a boat. We found a boat. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Found a boat. Fancy that. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, oh my god, at oh, last! Nice. Looks uh, surprisingly similar to the boat we came here on. Yeah, maybe it Eric does. Eric disappeared at sea and this come floating back to us. So Eric's gone? Maybe. We have to give him a call when we have a reception. Maybe and, we uh, need to rescue him. Ah. Uh, Next adventure. Yeah. Yeah. Rescue Eric. <laughs> yeah, rescue Eric. Find yeah. Eric. Oh. All right, well. And the sun is shining for the second time this trip. <laughs> the first time was very brief though. <laughs> right. We survived yet another time. <laughs> yeah, you live and learn. Next you time live and learn. we'll do it a little better. Yeah. yeah, indeed. Let's jump in the boat. Great. Let's go. Don't forget to subscribe. 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 Like. Like. And like. share. And share. And see you in the next video. Thanks. Peace.